your family, call your friends. It's time to play the game, the truth of Yah. Learning the Bible has never been more engaging. The game does guarantee to increase your biblical knowledge, renew minds, and save lives. Grab your Bible and don't forget your Apocrypha. Loads of fun for everyone. The Truth of Y'all board game helps build up the poor in spirit, build character, gain wisdom, show what you know or find out what you didn't know, gain confidence, line up on line, precept upon precept, make the Truth of Y'all a part of your home today. Come on, what are you waiting for? Join the fun today. for their brothers and their sisters. That's years, years of oppression. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7, okay? That's years of oppression, all right? And we're not standing for it no more. Bring that out. It's the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression make it the wise man mad. Read it again, huh? Surely oppression make it the wise man mad. Oppression has made a wise man pissed off. That's right. Okay? All right? And it came out. Hey, 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 what they used to say? Hey, you can only push somebody so far. Okay? You can only push so far, all right, until they go off. All right? And y'all found out. Okay? Y'all found out. Okay? And you're going to continue to find out. Okay? Because these doggone curses are starting to come upon your people. All right? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7. Somebody give me Galatians 6 and 7. Okay? Give me that, King. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7, Galatians 6 and 7. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemy. And the Lord's going to do what? Put all these curses upon thine enemy. And no curse came by way of a knuckle sandwich there, Esau. All right? And a dog on flat chair across the head. All right? Blunt force trauma to you, you damn devil. All right? Read it again. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. We? And on them that hate thee. And on them that what? And on them that hate thee. And on them that hate us. You haven't showed us nothing but hate. Okay? You ain't showed us no love. Okay? You think giving us a stimulus check is love? You think giving our women food stamps is love? You think giving them welfare and kicking their man, which is the foundation of the household, kicking them out of the house, you think that's love? That's pure hate, all right? Because you doggone tear down the structure of the family, all right? All right, but we're building that thing back up, okay? That's what we're doing as Israelites. We're coming back to the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments, okay? And the Most High commands us to take care of our families, okay? We're going to eliminate this doggone single-parent household thing, okay? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put that thing out of order, man, okay? And we're going to doggone bring back righteous order. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 40. Okay? 1 Corinthians 14, 40. Keep Galatians 6 and 7. Read that. Keep Galatians 6 and 7. Read that. Galatians 6 and 7. It's the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. It says, be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. Read on. For whatsoever a man soweth, right. that shall he also reap. So whatever a man soweth, that's what he's going to reap. Oh. You got to pay, all right, for the rape, rob, murdering, okay, the slavery that you put our people through. You got to pay for that, okay? You don't get to get away with it. All right? Oh, it wasn't me. That was my ancestors. My ancestors were mean. No, you got to pay for it. All right? Give me that in Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 21. All right? No, you read 1 Corinthians. Come on. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 40. Uh -huh. Let all things be done decently and in order. The scripture said, let all things be done decently and in order. Okay? And raising our families, all right, in a righteous fashion, which is both parents in the household. All right? Which is 
Nick and Sean were teaching them the law, statutes, and commandments day and night. All right? That's the righteousness that we're bringing to our family. We're not going by your law no more, Esau. All right? We're going to put our families back together. Read it again. Let all things be done decently and in order. All things need to be done decently and in order. All right, read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. The scripture said prepare slaughter for his children. All right? Prepare slaughter for those people who are going to beat your grandmother's back in. All right? Prepare slaughter for those people who fed your babies to alligators. Prepare slaughter for those people that tied your brother. All right, one end to a horse, another end to the horse, slapped the horse on the ass, and then they split him in half. And then they got the nerve to put it on the back of your Levi jeans. And our, and our brother's sagging, all right, and that's all you see, all right? You a damn fool, Jake. You need to wake up and come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. All right? Go back to Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 21. Read it. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. It says prepare slaughter for his children. Okay? We're suffering from the curses. This is our fault, ultimately. Okay? It's our fault, ultimately. All right? But we're going to get that salvation. Okay? We're going to get that salvation as long as we keep the Most High's law and have faith in Christ. Come? Okay? All right? We don't trust you. All right? You can stop with the I'm sorry. You can stop with the I love you. Okay? You can stop with all that. Okay? All right? The words of your mouth is smoother than butter, but I know the words in your heart. Okay? Give me Sirach chapter 12 and verse 10. It's the book of Sirach chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. It says what? Never, never trust thine enemy. enemy. Scripture says never trust your enemy. When we go into the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68, it tells us all right, that the white man, all right, that we were sold to is our enemies. Okay? That's our enemy and we'll never trust you. It don't matter if you live right next door to me. It don't matter if you doggone work in the next cubicle over. It don't matter. All right? You are not my neighbor. Okay? Give me that in Leviticus 19 and 17. Read that again. It's a book of Sarai. Right. Chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Scripture says never trust your enemy. Read. For like as iron rusted. So is his wickedness. He is surely going to show his wickedness. Okay? The scriptures told you that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The white man is in rulership right now. Okay? We know who the wicked is. And you're in oppression, Jake. You're in oppression, Eve. Okay? It's not hard to figure out. Okay? Turn your feet to the testimony and keep these laws, statutes, and commandments and that lighter turn on. Khan, continue to read us, Iraq 12. God. Verse, verse 11. Uh -huh. Though he humble himself. Though he what? Though he humble himself. Though he lower his voice. Okay? All right? Though he talk with a soft tone. All right? right. He's come crouching. Read on. And go crouching. Yeah, take good heed. You better take heed to that devil. You better not trust him because he's going to set you up. Okay? You're going to end up in the prison houses. Read on. And beware of him. You better beware of him, Read. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. You're going to be as unto him as if you have wiped the looking glass. You're finally going to see that this is the man of perdition that you're dealing with. Okay? This is the wicked of the earth. You're finally going to see that thing, huh? Okay, read. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee. Read that again. Set him not by thee. Scripture says, set him not by thee. All right? Don't have these doggone devils within the arm's length away from you if you can help it. Well, don't get me wrong. We got to live with these doggone devils. We got to work with these devils. You got to be as harmless as a dove, but as wise as a serpent. Okay? It's a little hot out here. All right, bring your precept out. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked with, together with unbelievers. Read it again. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. The scripture says, don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. All right? 
and the other nations are unbelievers by default. Give me that in Psalms chapter 147 there, King. The other nations are unbelievers by default. Read that again. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Read. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 25. Read that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Scripture says he showeth his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel. He didn't say he showeth his word unto the whole world. He said he showed his word unto the 12 tribes of Israel. Read on. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read. He had not dealt so with any nation. He had not dealt so with any other nation. All right? He only dealing with us. Read on. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. As for his judgments, they don't know them. Read. Praise ye, Yahweh. Praise ye, Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord. You got a problem with the scriptures? Okay? You need to take it up with the Most High. Take it up with Yahweh Shai. All right? Don't get mad at us. All right, give me that in Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Read that. God, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, and verse 25. And this shall be our righteousness. And this shall be what? And this shall be our righteousness. The scripture says, don't mix righteousness with unrighteousness. Kind? If we observe to do all these commandments. If we observe to do all of the commandments. And that's what we're doing to the best of our ability. Okay? That's what we're doing. Okay? And we got to understand that our enemy hates that thing. Give me that. In uh, the book of Revelation chapter 12. Give me Revelation 12 and 17. Our enemy knows that. You got all these people packing the Christian churches. You got all these people packing these mosques. And they saying that the laws of God is done away with. All right? But what does the prophecy say? All right? What does the prophecy say? Read that. God, give me the, uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. And the what? And the dragon was wroth with the woman. And the scripture says that the dragon was wroth with the woman. The woman is the children of Israel. The woman represents the children of Israel. Read on. And went, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Read. Which keep the commandments of God. The ones that say the law is done away with. Which keep the commandments of God. The dragon is rough with those that keep the commandments of God. That's you brothers. Alright. That's your wives at home. Okay. That's those brothers. Alright. That's the nation of Israel. Who has awakened. Alright. We got to understand that man. Okay. Jump up to verse 12. Jump up to verse 12. Read that. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 12, and verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to, it's like it. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. It says what? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Woe means destruction. Destruction to the inhabitants of the earth. Everybody outside the nation of Israel. Read on. And of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. For the devil has come down unto us, having great wrath. And the devil is the so-called white man. Okay, He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. He's come down to us with great wrath. We are. Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Because he knoweth that he have a short time. He know that his time is almost over. All right? So we're going to keep this thing going, Khan. All right? We're going to stay in the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim and Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Khan? Kum Yashala. Kum Yashala. Kum Yashala. Shalom. 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 Y'all just ain't no niggas up here, and y'all women ain't just no thoughts out here. Right? Y'all children of the Most High God, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Right? I bring that out, right? What you got? Give me that wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and 1. Isaiah 1 and 3. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. The righteous man shall do what? Stand in great boldness. Yeah, because the righteous man in this last days be standing in great boldness. Hey, we ain't scared of you so-called white, white folks out here, man. Hey, look, we done showed you many times before, but now this time you're seeing it 3D. That's the only difference, right? We been, hey, this, this, this already been posted went down. 
You understand? Because one thing about it, man, I'm watching, I see a lot of our young children out here. You know? Hey, they got faith now, man. They not, they not afraid to go and say and do what they need to do because now they feel like what? They brother got their back, man. You know, for a minute, a lot of us were scared out here, man. A lot of us youngins, man, afraid to say something to these so-called white folks. Scared to kind of walk by these so-called white folks. Well, guess what? It is what it is. Take it how you like it. You understand? Read. You know Before the face of such heavy flick in here. Before the face of who? Before the face of such heavy flick in here. Yeah, because we're right in front of your face now. Right? The face of, of, the, of us that have afflicted us for over 400 years, man. Like this so-called white woman right here. At the end of the day, she walking through head hunky dory, man. Right? But at the same time, we still getting shot down dead in the street, man. Still getting oppressed every day. Women getting raped and found missing all in Atlanta and Alabama. You understand? Hey, that's off, man. But at the end of the day, she got to pay for what she did and what her ancestors did in these last days. Right? Like brother y'all all said, SOT, you can't get away, man. Right. You ain't getting away. It is what it is, right? Three. It made no account of his labor. Now they 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 counted every every brick, every damn whip, every damn weed, every damn thing we picked. They made account of. It made no account of his labor. It made no account of our labor. They still call us lazy to this day, but the whole United States was built by us. How the hell are we lazy? For free. Right? And if anything, we need a rest. Right? No money. Being, get being beat like damn cattle and cows and damn sheep. Huh? You know what I'm saying? They lucky this ain't already went down. Right? When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. These so called white folks shaking in their damn space boots right about now, man. They ain't ready for this kind of thing, man. Shaking in their khakis, man. You understand? Hey, look, this is a spiritual war. Hey, but it's a little, it's a little physical too, man. Because you know what? The physical is what you got to do. The spirit is always going to be there, but the physical thing is you got to you gotta come and get your ass out here, man. You got to come and put your boots on the ground. That's the physicality of it. Right? right? You got to get out here and feel some of this heat, man. Right. Niggas around here baking like damn bacon, man. Pause. Right? Really? <laughs> and she'll be amazed at the strangers of his salvation. And they shall what? She'll be... Sh sh like it. And she'll be amazed at the strangers of his salvation. Yeah, and they gonna be afraid, you know, they gonna be afraid when they see them, them chariots come with all them niggas up there in there. They looking down, they looking up. I know damn, I know damn well, there ain't, no, there ain't no black folks up there, is it? Is that a foe I see? Is that a foe I see up there? Oh my gosh, Grace. Damn, damn Teddy. And damn Jimbo, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Jimbos around here too, man. This look like a Jimbo city. Bunch of Jimbos and damn Billy Bobs, man. Y'all slow ass is lucky y'all made it this long. You understand? But the, hey, look, the most I put, I, hey, he put the spirit in us in these last days, man. The brother Aquaman up there, the brother that threw his hat up in the air, put the signal to all so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to lay up the smack down on these damn Esau Edom, man. Yup. And they, they thought they was good, too. You seen them? They went to the boat. You know, they didn't even leave. You know, Jake would have left. Get on, get on out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas stay right there. My pride will, will defend me. Your pride's going to get you destroyed right now. Better try, to, better try to get scarce out here, man. What's wrong with you, man? We mad as hell right now. Right? Read this out. So, like, so far beyond all that they look for. So far beyond all that they look for this thing to go down like it's going down right now. They, they, that's the, this is the last thing that they would have expected that you so called niggas and spicks would be the chosen people of the most high God in these last days. Right. Ain't no way in the world. He's, that, that nigga over there, that nigga with that wild Irish rose bottle, huh? Right. The damn, uh, the slits malt liquor, right. <laughs> MD 22, Morgan Davis 2020, 211. Okay? 
That damn that Code 45 still reserved. And that damn four local. And now you're going off, huh? You're going off. No four locals. No four locals. Hey, look, man. Hey, hey look. Hey, look, man. They would have never expected that because guess what? They, hey, look, they counted us, what, three-fourths of a human? Species or two-thirds or whatever? Try to say we animals, man. Three-fifths of a man that we don't, we don't understand. We shouldn't read because we ain't going to know how to manage that. Well, guess what, man? So we can read now. We understand what's going on now. Now what you going to do about it in these last days? Hey, wait a minute. made me say, what you going to do? Let them crack him, man. He said, what you going to do? We got brothers out here standing bonus, man. Lions and wolves out here, man. It is what it is. The time is now. The time is now for you so-called black, Spanish, and Native Americans to come back into your, your own thing, man. You want to be down with every damn body else except for who you is. You just like Esau. Hell, Esau want to be everything except for Edomite. <laughs> this nigga want to be the damn the, the last samurai. Right? The nigga want to be a, a, damn, a damn Buddhist monk. What the hell is that, man? Last of the Mohicans, I ain't never seen one of them over here. How y'all how y'all get over there? You barely did get over here. How you get <laughs> yeah, damn. Y'all the Australians too? Right. How you get this last little island down there? How you get down there? Because you a lie and the truth ain't in you, man. You a damn vagabond. You don't have no 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 certain place to live, no certain place to be. You just you just everywhere where people don't want you, man. Right? And the most high is gonna get with you in these last days. Read this. Indeed, repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit uh -huh. shall say within themselves. What these devils gonna say? This was he who we had sometimes in derision. We had hey look, this the nigga we had sometimes in derision, man. Right. This nigga ain't know who he was yeah. the whole time. Now all of a sudden, now he think he's gonna rise up. Now all of a sudden he think he want to say he the real Jew that the Bible speaks of? Now all of a sudden he want to say that he's something that other than a nigga? Oh look, we can't have that now. We gonna take some of your money away. We gonna take your endorsements away, Adidas. We gonna do whatever we can to make you shut up, man. Because at the end of the day, they knew that something like this was gonna happen anyway. You can't stop the will of the Lord. This gonna happen anyway. And this is what I was waiting on. And I see a lot of my people was waiting on this too. But this ain't it. You got to come back to the law, statutes, and commandment to fully get this gift, man. Because the most I've seen you out there to do is work and get you put to death all at the same time. Because you're not keeping the commandments, man. You're not going to be saved in that day when those chariots come. But what the so-called white man said, this is he who we sometimes had in derision. Right. Had them bugged out, man. Right? Going to the corner store. Spending their money in the same place every time they get paid. Money don't go out of the damn neighborhood. Well, it go out the neighborhood. Right? Read. Right? And the proverb of reproach. And the what? And the proverb of reproach. And what's the proverb, man? Hey, that's a smart saying, man. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Them niggas, them niggas can't, what they say? What they say? Uh, uh, elevator can raise a family, but a black man can't. Hey, that's a proverb, man. That's a slick saying they talk about us, man. Man, them niggas ain't gonna fight back. Just gonna slap them right now. We gonna jump them right now. Ain't, them niggas ain't gonna do nothing on that boat. But guess what happened? The opposite, man. Because look, the whole, the spectrum is changing in these last days. Hey, it's a beautiful thing. I'm glad to be alive. Hey, even David and them was, was hoping for this day. To see this day. But... Brothers should be happy to be here alive to be able to see this day, to be able to see this time in life, man. And we just made history, man. This is history. This is new history. Damn all that, that history, man. Esau ain't got no damn history, man. He barely even know who the hell he is, man. The nigga said, he said, the other day, I looked and did some research. Esau said he came from some damn wolves, man. You know, a she wolf laid down and they just kind of got up under there and started drinking, man. That's off, man. If you don't know who you is, how the hell are you going to tell us who we is? Man, we the chosen people of the most high God. Thus saith the Lord, man. Thus saith the Holy Bible, man. You can't get around that, man. It's going to be what it is, man. It's going to be what it is and you can't make it what it ain't. You understand? Right? How is he numbered 
among the children of God. How is he what? How is he numbered among the children of God? How the hell is this, these people numbered among the children of God? I thought, hold on, I thought damn well that, you know, the, the so-called white man was the Jew. I could have sworn he was a Jewish man. Right. That's what they say, right? Right, that's what they say. So all of a sudden now, this nobody, this one that we, don't even, that we follow around Walmart all damn day long and Family Dollar, right? The one we check their damn bags every time they go somewhere. The one that we can't clutch our purse every time we walk by them. How the hell is those people the children of the Most High God? How? Because the Most High says so. That's why. That's how. That's why. And that's what it's going to be. You understand? Hey, 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 brothers in the spirit nowadays. Uh, bring that out. What you got? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. We are what? But thou art rich. And we rich, man, because what? Romans 9, man, because the covenants and everything was promised to us, man. Everything is promised to us, man. We the people of the inheritance, man. That's why we rich. We don't need, we don't have to be rich right now here. Why would you want to be rich with something that is so-called white? What did the scripture say? That the moth could destroy, man. That the damn flames could burn up. Why you want that, man? Why would you want that? It's not going to last, man. It's like getting a disposable. When you slam, uh, slam, uh, go inside that woman's head with that chair. He was doing the Lord's work. See what I'm saying? Because he's seeing his brother and he loves his brother as himself. And he didn't want that going down. So look, boom, boom, boom. She got what she got. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where you at? Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. No, for that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 58. Bring it out. If thou would not observe to do all the words of this law. So check this out. This is what the most high, this is what the most high is telling our people, man. Because the thing is, everything we going through, we brought this upon ourselves. We brought this on ourselves. No, we want to be disobedient to the most high's God, the most high's law, statutes, and commandments. Right? Can you read? If thou would not observe to do all the words of this law uh -huh. that are written in this book, uh -huh. that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, if y'all don't want to obey my laws that's in this book and fear this glorious name, glorious name what's the name? The Lord, thy power, Yahweh. It said the Lord. Is that all caps? God. It said the Lord, thy power. That's Yahweh. If you don't fear the Most High God's name, of course you're not going to keep His commandments. Right? And His name is Yahweh, by the way. See what I'm saying? If you ain't keeping His commandments, of course you don't fear the Most High. Right? Read it, start it over. Read that again. Verse 58. If thou would not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, uh -huh. the Lord thy power, Yahweh, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. See, if you, this, this is the thing. You get sick, you want to go to the doctor, right? Something go on, you ask somebody for prayer, right? right? Somebody in your family died, you ask, hey, pray for me. You, you, you want every solution but living right. You want, every, you, want to, you want to look for every solution but getting your act together. The Most High God said we got to fear Him, we got to keep His commandments. But see, because we are stiff-necked people, and I've always been a stiff-necked people. We, we, we was fresh out of Egypt. We were fresh from walking through the Red Sea and we are up already making a dog on golden calf. See what I'm saying? We're stiff necked people and been that way. But the most I, most I said, if we don't keep his commandments and fear his name, what's gonna happen? The Lord thy God will make thy plagues wonderful. Uh -huh. And the plagues of thy seed, even the great plagues, uh -huh. and of long continuance, uh -huh. and sore sickness, uh -huh. and of long continuance. Don't you understand the most High God gave you that disease you got? That's right. Cause you wicked as hell. Don't you understand the most high God uh, put, brought all that trouble on you? The most high God made it to where you behind on your bills. The most high God did all that to you because you were a wicked Negro. You were a wicked sister. See right. what I'm saying? You don't want nobody telling you what to do. But understand this. We're going to tell you what the Bible says. Let's get Ezekiel 3 and 10. We're going to tell you what the Bible says. Right? Would you hold it again? Uh, you dropped that. All right, bring it. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 22. Be, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadist children. Uh huh. And they have none understanding. They said my people are sadist children and they ain't got no understanding. But they'll be quick to come up in your face telling you I done read the Bible already. There ain't nothing you can tell me. The most high God said different. He said, what read it again? For my people is foolish. Uh-huh. They have not known me. Y'all ain't known the most high. 
I didn't know the most high until I came to this understanding. I was a grown man when I came to this understanding. Right. And now I know what the truth is. Right. I didn't know what the truth was because, see, I was delving off in first Christianity. I was delving off in Islam. I was delving off in all these different ideologies. But I didn't know the truth until I found out what the truth really was. And it's in the scriptures. Right? Can you read? They are Saudi's children. Uh -huh. And they have not understanding. Mm -hmm. They are wise to do evil. Our people are wise to do evil. You tell them something you tell them about doing right, they wanna cuss you out. Right. But they got all the wisdom uh, uh, uh cooking up some dope. They got all the wisdom uh how to how to pay somebody out some money. We got all the wisdom of the world, but we don't want wisdom in this Bible, right? It's more than that. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Uh-huh. That's it. They said do good with it. Our people have no knowledge, they don't want the knowledge. That's why Hosea 4 and 6 said we destroy for the lack of knowledge. Right. And we're not seeking the knowledge. Y'all want to cuss out the men of the Lord. Because we tell you what God said. Read that in Ezekiel 3, King. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 10. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart, and hear with thine ears, and go, get thee of them of the captivity. He said, the words that the Most High God speaks to us, Receive in our heart and hear what our ears and go get thee to them of the captivity. The people that's in the captivity are the ones that need salvation. Right. 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 Y'all don't have an understanding of what salvation really is. Why do you need to be saved and you run everything? Right. Why do you need to be saved and you oppressing people? That's right. That's an asinine as I don't know what, man. You oppress a group of people, but you think you need salvation. <laughs> salvation from sin. If you ask me, I, from sin. You the, you the sinner. Right. You making all the sins. Man, the man of sin. sin. Yeah, the, the man of sin. You create the sins for people to do. You know what I'm saying? All right, bring it out. Verse 11. And go. Get to thee of them of the captivity. Uh -huh. Unto thy people. And speak unto them. all, all Speak unto them. Start it over. Hey, listen to this, sister. Start it off. Read that. Watch this. Watch what God say. <laughs> and go. Get thee of them of the captivity. The Most High God told us to go get them of the captivity. The people that are the descendants of the transatlantic slave trade. He said, go get them of the captivity. Right. Unto thy people. Unto our people. Keep going. And speak unto them and tell them. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord God. We got to tell you what the Most High God has to say. That's in right. the scripture. That's right. right. Whether they will hear, whether you want to hear, or whether they will forbear, or whether you forbear, we gotta tell you what it is. You ain't got to like it. Read, read that in Romans three, king. Bring it out. This is the book of Romans, chapter three and verse three. For what if some did not believe? Now, what if you don't believe what we got? What we saying? What if you don't believe what the Bible is saying? Keep on. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Because you don't believe, does that mean the Bible fake? Because you think that God is a woman, does that mean he really is? Because you feel like you can run your husband, does that mean it's true? Right? Be real. Let God be true. Let the most high God, which, which is this Bible, the words in the scriptures, be true. God forbid, yeah, let God be true. Uh huh. But every man a liar. Every man a liar. If you're not speaking according to the words of this Bible, you a goddamn liar. Right? right? That's right. Bring out what you got, King. The book of Psalms, chapter 64, and verse 5. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. But see, you encourage yourself in an evil matter. No. You, you just as bad as our oppressor. You encourage yourselves in an evil matter. Can you read? They commune of laying snares privily. Uh huh. They say, who shall see them? See, our people and even our oppressors sit up and plot and figure out ways. Listen, I, like like the brother said. Listen, I, I gotta come, I gotta come back with some precepts because I don't like what they said. They said I gotta I can't I gotta stop eating pork. They said the Bible said I gotta stop eating pork. I gotta I gotta talk to my pastor real quick because I gotta figure this out. He read. We don't know nothing. Keep they reading. search out iniquities. Uh huh. They accomplish a diligent search. It said they search out iniquities and accomplish a diligent search. After sitting here trying to figure out ways to sin, right. they come up with it. They come up with it. It said a diligent search, they accomplish it. Keep going. Both the inward thought of every one of them. It said the inward thought of every one of them. And the heart is deep. Uh huh. But God shall it's like it. But God shall shoot at them. The most high God said. Those that's doing these things, the most I got said he's gonna shoot at you with an arrow. Uh-huh. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Uh-huh. Right. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Your own 
tongue is gonna be your destruction. Your own thoughts is gonna be your own destruction. You can't blame nobody else but yourself. Bring it out, King. This so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the Most High. But they shall wisely consider of his doings. See, check this out, right? Our people and the oppressor sitting up plotting and thinking of different ways to uh, make the men of the Lord go left. You know what I'm saying? Our people are sitting up and plot against the men of the Lord and the sisters of the Lord. Talk about we look like power rangers. But you out here have Nick. Keep on. Right. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord uh -huh. and shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. Hey, it said all the upright in heart is going to glory. Y'all going to get destruction while the upright in heart, the power rangers. That's right. The, what you call the sisters, the old maids. Hey, right. we going to be the ones getting the king. Right. right? Why you gonna be sitting back upset? You know what I'm saying? Pissed off. Because the most high didn't show you favor because you decided you want to do what you want to do. Brother tell you you got you gotta stop eating pork, you don't wanna stop doing it. Brother tell you gotta cover up, you don't wanna do it, right? Bring up what you got there. This is Galatians chapter 4 and verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. It said what? Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. So we tell our sisters they need to cover up. That, now we the end. Right. We tell our people you gotta stop eating shrimp, crab, and lobster. Now we the end. We tell our people, listen, you can't keep on uh, running around sleeping with Tom, Dick, and Harry. But now we the end, right? It said, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? What does it say after that? <laughs> they zealously affect you. Okay, you good. Bring that out. The Book of Romans. Chapter 3 and verse 31. Right, now, do we then make void the law through faith? See, when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, do we do what? Do we then make, make void the law through faith? What's the answer for? God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. Yeah, no. What we do? Yay! Yeah, we establish the law. Hey, listen. Uh, we're going to establish this law till uh, your howl shot comes. We're going to give all glory, honor, and praise to the Most High, your howl by Shem, Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. Shalom. Shalom.